It's good to have my niece with us this morning from down in Maysville. Yeah. And uh, she's fixing to get married. And uh, you're from uh, Wills County? Over Fort County. And uh, it's good to have him uh, this morning uh, here in the Lord's house. And Hannah, I'm proud you brought your friend. She stays with, you stay with him on the weekend, right? And uh, it's good to have you with us this morning. And we're so honored. And uh, some of us, I didn't get to go, but Monday night, Brother Tim, Brother Dave, uh, Brother Keith Allison has been over at uh, Sunny Point uh, preaching a prophecy conference on the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ and what's going to happen and uh, what's going to take place. But uh, we're entering Easter, It'll be two weeks from today. It'll be Easter Sunday morning. Our revival starts next Sunday. Yeah. Brother Curry Head from the Lonago will be here preaching Sunday night through Wednesday night. And uh, the Kayla family will be singing on Tuesday night. Our church will be singing Sunday night and Monday night. And uh, then Brother Kevin is bringing his church, and they're singing on Wednesday night. And so we're looking for a great time in the Lord. Amen. I was uh, going to preach this last Sunday, but I didn't get to preach. Uh, the glory, but we all this morning look like we got jet lag. <laughs> That's when you fly for uh, four or five hours and you're not balanced for a day or two. And so we lost an hour's sleep last night. And I heard on world news where it'd take two to three weeks to get over this. And, uh, and uh, I said, I'm in a mess. <laughs> if it takes two or three weeks, because I've been feeling this way for years. <laughs> and so, but I want to preach this morning on why glory and the cross. Uh, I, I want to say this. My card's gone, Amber. Amber's getting married the last of April, the 31st, 30th. 30th. And uh, she's she's getting married. Then Tyler and Jonah, Jonah's getting married in uh, June 18th. And so, uh, and. Uh, is the kids going on camp this year? Yes, sir. What week is that? 13th uh, through the 17th. 13th through the 17th. Sign up sheets in the back. And so, uh, if you want to go to that youth camp, it's in South Georgia, down at Tokyo, Finoke Swamps, uh, sign up. They'll be going again. Always have, carry a van load, another van, and, and uh, they always have a great time. I want to preach about the cross this morning. Thank God for the cross. Yes, sir. I want to thank the Lord that uh, many years ago that I had the privilege of going by the cross. And I've never been the same, and I'll never be the same because of the cross. You see, Jesus said this, that he came to do the Father's business. And the Father's business was for him to go to the cross and uh, to die for my sins and to die uh, for your sins and, and that we might live. And if you just watch, and, and I know it's real aggravating, but if you'll just watch the news, you see, you see it all coming to a head. Right. You see things taking place at uh, that he tells us about uh, in, the, in the book of Revelation, Daniel, Zechariah, that all of this is going to uh, take place and, and all the things that's going to happen. 
And we've seen, we've seen prophecy being yeah. fulfilled yeah. in the day and the hour that you and I live in. And in and, uh, and, uh, Galatians chapters uh, uh, number four, uh, I want to read this morning, and uh, our chapters number six, chapters number six, and uh, I want to read one verse, and and uh, I'll be real brief this morning, and uh, I want to say again, I appreciate what the Lord has done, and uh, then I want to appreciate what the Lord is going to do. The Bible said in uh, Galatians 14 and uh, verses, uh, chapter 6, 14, but God forbid that I should glory, save in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom the world is crucified unto me, and I unto the world. Now, there's, there's reasons this morning that you and I, need the glory in the cross. There's a lot of things to brag on. They, there's a lot of things to exalt and there's a lot of things to lift up. But I found the greatest thing to brag about and, and the greatest thing to lift up is the cross. Amen. And because of the cross, I mean, listen, uh, there's, Jesus never wrote a book. But there's been millions that's been wrote about in the Old Testament up to the cross, how that he'd be crucified. And, uh, and uh, he never went to medical school before the cross. Right. But he raised many that were sick. And he made them well. And after the cross, he's doing the same thing. Never did go to, uh, never did go to embalming school at all. Uh, you know what? After they embalmed him, he raised them from the dead. Isn't that amazing this morning? I mean, he he done business. He done business before that he went to the cross. That's the reason that we can glory in him. He raised he raised them from the dead. He made the uh, those that couldn't speak made them to talk, and uh, uh, went through. Uh, didn't have no nursing homes. He'd just go by and touch them and. And uh, say thy faith has made thee whole. And man, what a what a miracle worker that he was. But yet his main business was to come to the cross. Amen. And to die for my sins. And they say, boy, wasn't that a dreaded death and a horrible death? No, it was amazing death. Right. It was amazing because you and I were included in this death. And because he died, I lived. And because that he died, I'm saved and been washed in the blood. And because, because of the cross, I want to talk about, I want you to notice this morning, we can glory in why we glory in the cross is because of his person, who he is. I mean, who the Lord Jesus Christ is. I'll tell you what I want to do right now. Uh, my granddaughter's here, Amber, and I want her to stand and and I want her to sing uh, uh, the first verse of Amazing Grace. I want, Amber, I want you to stand and sing the first verse of Amazing Grace. Now that's the reason that we can glory in his person. Amen. Because of his grace that he brought. Right. And because of the grace that dug out and made the church and made the, uh, made the family and uh, uh, made the bride of Christ. And uh, uh, we can glory in the, uh, in the person of the cross. Uh, because uh, the Bible said, but God forbid that I should glory save in the cross. There's nothing... 
I mean, listen, there's nothing that I've ever done that I can glory in. There's nothing big that I, nobody knows me uh, for big things. Nobody, but Jesus is uh, uh, not only the Savior, but he's the captain of, it, uh, of our army. And all of us soldiers has been following him for years and years. And he's got, a, he's got an army that is so big and so huge. And he's given us a gun to shoot. I mean, hallelujah, this book, uh, uh, this Bible that lays here before me. And what a Savior he is. Number two is because of the price that he paid. Miss Heather, I want you to get up and sing one verse of Je uh, Jesus loves me. because of the price that he paid. Amen. I mean, the price of love. Nobody has ever shared their love and showed their love like the Lord Jesus Christ did. The Bible said in the book of Acts, chapters 10 and 39, we are witnesses of all things which he did both in the land and, and of the Jews and in Jerusalem, who they, uh, and they slew and hanged him on a tree. And the first words that he said while he was hanging there, he said, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? And the Bible said the Lord turned his back. And then the second saying, or the first saying of the cross after he gave up the ghost, or was fixing to give up the ghost, he said, it's, it's finished. And I'm proud this morning that, that it's finished. I mean, that it's complete, the Lord, he can redeem, he can redeem us right at the spur of the moment. He can save us and he can wash us and, and the blood. The Bible said, for as much as you know that we were redeemed uh, with corruptible things as silver and gold from our vain conversation received by traditions of our Father. So, beloved, I can glory in the cross because of the price that he paid. I want Miss Carol to pay, uh, turn to page 268. 268. And uh, I, I wanted to sing uh, uh, just the verse of it this morning. Uh, and uh, not only because of the price he paid, because of the person uh, that he was, but because I can glory in the cross because of his purchase. Now, I wanted to sing uh, at the cross. Can you sing that? Can you sing? Uh, if you can't sing the verse, just sing the chorus. But I want you to listen this morning. The purchase, the Bible said, for you are bought with a price, therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God. It's the cross this morning, and how we need to get in our hearts and in our minds, it's all about the cross. Right. The Bible said, take heed therefore unto yourselves, and all of the flock over the, which the Holy Ghost has made you overseers to feed the church of God, which he has purchased with the blood. And because of the cross this morning, we've been purchased, uh, we've been bought, and beloved, I glory in the cross because of his purchase. Amen. Say that, Miss Carol. Listen. My sovereign died. Would he devote that sacred yes. head for such a worm as I? Yes. And
that wonderful? Yes, sir. I'm proud this morning that I can stand up here and read the scriptures, beloved, uh, that I've been purchased. Amen. And it's because of the cross of the Lord Jesus Christ yes, that I can glory by in him. That song says, at the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burden of my soul rolled away. It was there by faith I received his grace, and now I am happy all the way. If you're happy this morning, say yes. praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I mean, he's wonderful. Yes, sir. But I glory in him not only because of the purchase, but I glory in him because of the pardon. And after I got pardoned, Brother Jimmy, I want you to stand and sing that first verse of the battlefield. You know it by heart. Just stand up and sing that first verse. that I was going to do this. Amen. But isn't it wonderful? I, isn't the Lord wonderful this morning? Amen. And I glory in Him right. because of the pardon that He's given. You see, you see, beloved, this morning, I know for a fact that I don't have to die and go to hell. Amen. I know that for a fact. You know, I don't know where I'm going by the clouds or I'm going by the clods, but I do know that I'm going. The scripture said this in Galatians, about whom we have redemption through the blood and the forgiveness of our sins. Amen. And I glory in the cross because of the pardon. Isn't it wonderful to see people that's been pardoned by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ? Right. Isn't it glorious to see people uh, that's been pardoned by him? And because of the cross, because of the cross, We've all been pardoned this morning. We can come to Revival Baptist Church and rejoice in the Lord. We can go home after church this morning and rejoice at, uh, in the Lord Jesus Christ. Beloved, uh, it's because I glory in the cross because I've been pardoned. I mean, I don't understand the things uh, that happen and take place, but I've been pardoned this morning right. by His grace. I, I've been sealed by the Holy Spirit, and, and uh, I've had an operation, and, and uh, I've got a spiritual condition in my heart, and I enjoy the Holy Spirit, and, and we got folks in here that's got spiritual problems, uh, but I'm telling you, God can fix that this morning, uh, and He said He would fix it uh, uh, because of the pardon that we have. Then I glory in the cross not only because of his part, but I glory in the cross because of his power. Yeah. Paul said, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ because it's the power of God unto salvation. Yeah. And beloved, thank God for his power this morning. His power convicts sinners. His power blesses saints. His power stirs the church. His power sends revival. His power causes us to pray. His power causes us to sing. His power causes us to rejoice in the Lord Jesus Christ. And I glory in, this, in the cross because of his power this morning. Miss Carol, I want you to get a song. Not only I glory in the cross because of his power, but I glory in the cross because of his peace. I glory in the cross because of his peace. <coughs> you know, since uh, 
last September when they said I had cancer. Glenda's waited on me, and she has just spoiled me, and there's been such a peace in our home. <laughs> Honestly. The doctor called Friday, and he said, you don't have no cancer. And Glenda, looked, I hung up, and Glenda looked at me, and she said, if you want a bottle of water, you get up and get it. <laughs> She said, she said, these days of pain are over with. <laughs> said, if you want a cup of coffee, you fix it. Said, if you want a swept ginger ale out of the uh, refrigerator, said, you go and get it. Said, if you want a peanut butter sandwich, you fix it. She said, your, your days of pain is over. I went in the house yesterday and for watching. She said, what would you like to have? I said, man, I believe I'll have a peanut butter sandwich. She went over to the cabinet and she fixed it. She said, what would you like to drink? Like to drink? I said, a bottle of water. She went over and got the water undone it and brought it to the little recliner. And I said, I need the peanut butter sandwich. And I said this, isn't she good? <laughs> you know what? The peace of the Lord Jesus Christ puts something real in, in your heart. That's right. It puts appreciation in your heart. It puts a gratitude in your heart. It puts a love in your heart. I'm telling you, I used to take days for granted, weeks for granted, years for granted, but I don't no more. I take one day at a time. You know why? Because of the peace of God. I can glory because of the peace. Then lastly, and I'll close, I can glory because of the promises of God. The promises of the Lord Jesus Christ. The promise. The promise. You see, the, one of the greatest promises that we have that the Lord's coming back and what, it, what made it possible because he died on the cross. And he's completing his bride. And he's coming in the clouds to get us that are saved, washed in the blood. That we know him as our personal savior this morning. And I can glory. I can glory in the cross. You say, preacher, you believe the Lord's coming? I believe the Lord's coming today. Do you really believe that? Yeah, I believe the Lord's coming today. What if he don't? I'll get up in the morning and I'll look for the Lord again. Amen. 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 And if you'd have heard that preaching on that prophecy this week, you would have thought the Lord would come last night. Yes, sir. That's you would have thought the Lord, our country, the shape it's in and the mess it's in, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, the Bible said he wouldn't put no more pull us in wicked fire. And I'm telling you, they are putting the pressure, and uh, the, they 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 getting this thing ready. It's lining up, and I didn't even know this. Russia, Russia has done build an army base in Syria, and uh, in Syria, and uh, and that's, the Bible said they're coming. That's where they're coming down to, and they're coming down to Iran and and Turkey and. And beloved, and it's just lining up, setting up. But I can glory in the cross, no matter what happens, I can glory in the cross because the Lord Jesus Christ is God. Right. Would you stand? If you're here this morning and you're not saved, I want to encourage you to come. If you need to come and pray, I want to encourage you to come while she sings. The cross is the symbol of God's of perfect God. love. The place where he gave us his only son to suffer.
With my eyes on the Savior, I plan now to live in the shadow of His cross until He comes again. Jesus, my Savior, yes, He set yes. me free, free from sin's prison, where I used to be. Now I live in freedom since He Thank you.